This is a tiny tune. And this is a tiny tune at 600% scale. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the sound it makes. You'll hear the sound in a minute, but we have five other things to show you. This is the Frontman Mask from Squid Games, and I decided to scale it to 200%. And all I had to do was just wave it like this. It worked. This thing is so big. I can't believe that's only 200%. I mean, look at the difference. That's crazy. I didn't just wave it and have it get bigger. Obviously, I 3D printed this. And this thing used up 600 grams of filament, which is a little more than what you're seeing here. That's a lot of filament for one item. But what's even more crazy is it took 24 hours to print. That's big. Although this was 600 grams and took 24 hours to print, the next print we have took twice as long and used twice as much filament. Let's check it out. Now, what the heck is this? Look Looks a little interesting, but watch what it can do. It's a retractable sword. My kids have a ton of these. They love playing with them. They're a great toy. To supersize this one, all I had to do was flip it upside down. <laughs> Look at how big this is. I mean, geez, this sword took 1.2 kilograms of filament. That's this much filament right here. You can see where I had to switch out the filament. Now watch how big this thing is. This thing is four feet tall and it took 42 hours to print. That's pretty much two days. That's insane. Last thing to mention about this sword is it was scaled up to 212%, which is just so tall. Before we move on to the next print, I just wanna say all of these prints that I'm showing you are free. If you have a 3D printer, you can download them. If you have a massive 3D printer like this one, you could download and print them this size. I'll put links to the printers, to the, all the 3D printing material I used, and to all the different 3D prints, because some of these are really cool. All right, now let's look at something you might see in a museum. This is my tiny dino. It's something that you've most likely seen at like a dinosaur museum. When I scaled this up, I was able to scale to 500%. It took up 700 kilograms of filament and it took 32 hours to print. And to make this bigger, all you have to do is close its mouth. Oh, wow, look at that, 500%, 35 hours. This thing is huge and I actually had to do it in two parts. I'm not sure what to do with this now that it's printed, but I've actually thought about taking it to a museum as like a fun science you know, project that they can present. If you have any ideas of what I could do with this dinosaur, put it down in the comments. Something else that's pretty big is this next thing we're gonna show you. Look how big it is. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. I took this and I scaled it 1000%. Because it's three pieces, I was able to make each of them really big and it is a beast. Not only is it big, but it is heavy, coming in at 2.3 grams of filament. That's this right here. Now to supersize this one, all I had to do was turn the head. Like I said, this thing is huge. Now this one was a difficult print. In fact, this one failed the first time. I didn't use enough infill. If you're not familiar with that, it's just the material that goes inside of it. But I didn't do like any material inside. So I had a fail, it broke, it messed up. I was trying to save material, but I ended up having to use more material because it failed. So a thousand percent, 2.3 kilograms in 80 hours. And this is what you get on a massive 3D printer. But what if you want something that's multicolored? All these prints were printed on the Airy One Thinker X400. It's a massive 3D printer, but it only does one color. What if I wanted this to be multicolor, or what if I wanted to do something else? What if I wanted to print something like this? <laughs> Chicken jockey. I could scale this up on this printer and have it be huge, but it would just be one color, so I'd have to paint it. I happen to have a printer that's multicolored and can do huge prints. Printing multicolor is nice, but it takes a lot longer. In order to supersize this to 300%, 1.1 kilograms in 61 hours, all you have to do is give it a little waddle. Oh, look at that, it is huge. This is my life-size chicken jockey. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the life-size version. I don't know if it's much bigger than this. Little chicken, little jockey. Jockey, chicken jockey. Because this was printed on the Bamboo Lab H2D, it saved me a lot of time and material. That printer comes with two heads, so you can have one color be green, another one be blue, and it still has to change colors, but not as often. In fact, this zombie needed six colors, so I ended up using an AMS on the left side and on the right side. It's almost time to hear what this sounds like, but first, there's one last thing I supersized. My desk. Right now, I have this very old kitchen table as my workstation, and it's terrible. It's ugly and not sturdy at all. 
So I've upgraded to this amazing dual motor, three stage standing desk by FlexiSpot. It's six and a half feet wide, 30 inches deep, and ranges from 24 inches to 50 inches tall. Not only is it huge, but it can hold up to 352 pounds. That means I could put some of my heaviest printers on this table. The printer on the left is over 100 pounds and the one on the right is 70 pounds. I also tested the table with my own weight. Not too bad. This desk came with wheels, which is so nice and makes it easier to move around. Something I love about this table is the ability to customize different heights for different positions. When I want to sit, I push this button. To stand, I push this one. This desk comes in different colors, materials, and sizes. I chose the bamboo finish, but there's also black, white, and a few variations of brown. They also have an L-shaped desk and the option to include a drawer. FlexiSpot sent us this desk as a great addition to supersizing our toys. If you're interested in a FlexiSpot desk, we'll drop a link down below. Now it's time to see what this actually sounds like. I'm getting a little lightheaded. So I don't have enough power in my lungs to blow hard enough or long enough to get this to make a noise. But let me introduce you to my little friend. If I use this and blow it in the right way, I might be able to get this to work. Let's see. Okay, so that's not working out too well. I think this thing's too powerful. Let me try something else. I can't push enough air through this myself. The blow dryer blows too much air. I think I found the Goldilocks of blowing this tiny tune whistle. Not too hard, not too soft, just right. Can you hear that? All right, I finally got it to work with this little fan, but I covered up these other three holes with tape so I can make that difference of low to high. If I had three more arms, then I could cover each of these holes and play something that sounds more like this. I've had a blast supersizing my toys. If you want to supersize your toys or you want to print anything, I'll put a link down below for some of our most favorite printers. And if you want to supersize your desk, maybe you're using a kitchen table or a small card table like this, I would highly recommend FlexiSpot. Their desks are strong, easy to move around, and a great addition to our 3D printing studio. Remember to use the link in the description. We'll also add links to the filament we use. Most of it came from Deeply, and we'll add the links to all these 3D prints. Like I said, they're free. You can download these prints and have each one of these things in your house. All right, I'm done. Holy cow.